Uh, and we have from uh, the Academy of Our Lady of Guam, uh, Iris uh, Gaza, who's the principal. And then we have uh, teacher Joe uh, Tesoro. Uh, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing well. Good I'm morning. sorry the bell's good ringing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Of course. And, uh, you know, we brought you on because you guys are doing a, a really cool thing. Uh, which is um, an online Lenten reflection. And I think that a lot of people, uh, we just get kind of caught up because, you know, obviously many of us have been doing Lent since we were very young. And it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, I've been there, done that. Okay, what do we do? Yeah, we've got to go to this mass, we go to that mass, whatever. What are you going to give up? And it's like we just rush through it, especially with this pandemic. Maybe mm -hmm. last year's Lent wasn't everything that, you know, we wanted it to be. Uh, so this year, it's hitting a little different as we're now able to go to church and, and you know, do a lot of things we weren't able to do last year. Uh, so Online Lenten Reflection, and the, titles, uh, the title of this, it's pretty heavy stuff, Aligning Our Sufferings with the Sufferings of Jesus Christ. Let's talk a little bit about yeah. that and, and kind of yeah. the need, maybe yeah. how you guys came up with this idea. Yeah, um, it's a... It's a it's a kind of like a project for us, like what you said, uh, Chris, that uh, um, Lent is a little bit different this year. So we wanted to connect to more people. And uh, it's ironic because we're social distancing, but we're able to connect to more people because of the technology and Zoom. So we wanted to, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, take advantage of it by uh, offering an online uh, Lenten reflection to the people of Guam uh, uh, this, uh, this Lent uh, on March 27th. And uh, we wanted the topic, uh, we, we, we prayed about it, and the topic is uh, uh, aligning our sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus Christ because we all go through different things, we all through, go through different uh, uh, suffering, so to speak. Yeah. But more importantly, uh, it's a reminder that uh, Jesus has been through what we go, what we're going through now. So, uh, so He's always there to, you know, to guide us and to support us with all the sufferings that uh, we go through. Right, and I and I know that you you mean both literal and figurative suffering, right? So, especially for young kids, they're going to look at this and and you know, we're not necessarily saying that you got to nail yourself to a cross to kind of get where Jesus was coming from, right? But yeah. I mean, the way I look at it, uh, guys, is like you put it in perspective, whatever you're going through. I mean, just imagine Jesus and what he went through, you know, being whipped, being persecuted by the state, you know, being nailed to the cross and left to die. Right. Sometimes when we're having these like little daily struggles and, you know, not to make light of anybody's troubles because your troubles are your own and you know what, what they bring to you. But I like to think, okay, I stubbed my toe and it hurts, but you know, that's nothing compared to what Jesus had gone through. Is that kind of what you That's guys true. you got you guys are looking for that perspective? Yeah, definitely. Um, when we were thinking of a theme, um, we were like, well, you know, who's our audience? Who, you know, what are, what are we trying to center? What is our main goal, right? And um, I think personally, um, it was really more of looking back at this last year. The fact that it's been officially a year <laughs> since we started the pandemic there's been and been in lockdown there's been so many different um struggles that people had to deal with you know whether it's loss in the family or um a loss of relationships or loss of a job you know everyone is going through some kind of struggle or suffering and so we thought well how do we make light or not make light of that suffering but how do we really connect it to something and make it have meaning and and not overlook and so many people have been depressed during this time let's be honest that's the truth right this pandemic has brought a lot of people down and has forced um a lot of people were having a difficult time and trying to find the beauty in what what um the suffering has brought forward and that's kind of also what we're trying to do is how do we make see the light at the end of the tunnel you know how do we not only how do we find hope in our suffering also. Mm -hmm. So at least yeah. that's what I my goal is when I thought about yeah. this reflection. Mm -hmm. So tell us how um, this is uh, going to go down. People got to register online and then is it going to be um, 
like a conversation or is it just going to be the guest speakers, um, the Archbishop and um, yeah. Father Kid just speaking? Yeah, so so it's uh, it's it's going to be a a, a webinar. Uh, people will just have to go to uh, the website. It's uh, tinyurl.com slash AOLG Lenten Reflection 2021. Or they can go to our website, aolg.edu.g, and then register there. Uh, so it's a Zoom webinar. Mm -hmm. uh, so the speakers will be there. But they can also, the, the, uh, the participants can also join in in the comments and the chat. So... So there, so you can actually do this, uh, do this in the beach or uh, on your porch while sipping coffee. So you can do it anywhere because it's a, it's a webinar. And and it for for our listeners and our viewers, again, the, the date, the time, how long is the the webinar? Okay, so uh, it's on March twenty seven. Uh, it's a per. Perfect timing because uh, it's the day before uh, Palm Sunday and it's the day before we start the Holy Week, right. March 27, 10 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. Uh, and uh, register again. The the the, the website is tinyurl.com slash AOLG Lenten Reflection 2021 or at aolg.edu.g. And again, um, the speakers, it's going to be the Archbishop, uh, Dr. Nina Hiraman. Is that right? Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about her? Sure. Dr. Hiraman is um, currently an assistant professor uh, and department chair for sacred scriptures over at St. Patrick's Seminary and University in Menlo Park. So where a lot of our rec um, our uh, priests who were recently ordained, um, you know, their, was their teacher. And so it was a good opportunity for us to bring her in. Also being a female lay person, you know, we wanted that perspective as well. Um, in addition, um, she's, I believe from Europe, uh, she moved to the States to, um, to, to, to teach basically, and to, she basically had a calling to devote her, her life to sacred scriptures and to education. Um, so, you know, we were very fortunate that she agreed um, to do this for us, in addition to the Archbishop and Father Kidd. Good panel. Father Kidd's always a great uh, speaker. Yeah. It's always fun to hear him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So is there going to be a little time in this webinar for people to make a lot of noise before we head into Holy Week? <laughs> <laughs> before the... Before the pigs, the wild pigs come yeah. chasing us, right? <laughs> okay, everybody, you got five minutes. Just go ahead, yell at the top of your lungs. Do <laughs> I just want to end yeah. on a light note, but th this is a great uh, thing, and we've got it up in the comments. I want to thank you uh, for your time, Iris and uh, Joe. You guys are welcome back anytime. Thank you again for having us. Thank of you. course. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you. Enjoy your time. It was really good. <laughs> yeah, you can go get it up at GCC. Just hmm. tell them the link sent you. I mean, you got. I'm pretty sure you got a pretty good lunch from Lurk too. So, <laughs> let's see you guys. There you go. Nine forty-eight. Uh, we're gonna take a break and come back and wrap up the show.